awesome God. Mighty God. Mighty God. We lift you high. We lift you high. Awesome God. Awesome God. Oh, we lift you high. We lift you high. Oh, some go. Oh, some go. We lift you high. We lift you high. Oh, we lift you high. We lift you high. You are, you are. I lifted up. Oh, some go. You are, I lifted up. You are, I lifted up. We lift you high. 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 You are, you are. I lifted up. Oh, Sabo. You are, I lifted up. You are, I lifted up. ni hari ya mtu na tunaenda kuangalia kutoka kwa maandiko ni vizuri sana uh, tupate hii vizuri when you realize that you failed in life you failed in life or you've allowed the spirit of death is your own is your own making failure and death is your own doing this is very important and i want us to please move slowly by slowly that there is a point number one success will destroy the man whose character has not been prepared whose character has not been built whose character has not been impacted uh -huh. success number one success will destroy the man whose character has not been prepared whose character has not been impacted whose character has not been built many people come to the church they are prayed for the lord who is very faithful and the lord who blesses his people he blesses this man increases them or he multiplies their resources but because this man or this woman has not been trained has not been impacted has not matured the grace of god has not been increased in his life this man is destroyed kwa sababu gani hana preparation hana capacity acha machua achue chochote ako nacho ni mungu amempea ni mungu amembariki nayo kwa hivyo atakitumia ama atakilinda kwa umakini kwa umakini that is why we have many problems in the body of Jesus Christ why god blesses people for example wacha nitumie mfano wangu inawezekana 
nimetoka mahali ambapo hakika hakukua na chochote nimekuwa mwaminifu nikamtegemea Mungu nikamuomba nikatoa sadaka zangu nikatoa sacrifice zangu na kwa sababu Mungu ni mwaminifu na yeye anaheshimu mamlaka yake na anaheshimu neno lake akanikumbuka akanibariki akaniwezesha akanipandisha sijafika kile kiwango ambayo nimekuwa trained nimekuwa impacted nimechengwa kiroho nikamachua nikafika mahali naangalia vitu na ninasema siwezi nikaabudu vitu nitaabudu Mungu hii inamaanisha sitawahi rudi nyuma na ni mudharau Mungu ambaye amenibariki because i am i am trained i am machua eh, nimekomaa Ukiona mtu ame, amefika kanisani, Mungu amembariki, Mungu amemuinua, Mungu amemtendea, Mungu hata amemponya. Na hachakoma kiroho. Ndio watu nasikia nasema, hapana, hii Sunday nilikuwa very busy. Hii Sunday nyingine nilikuwa very busy. Yaani tunainua vitu kuliko Mungu mwenyewe. Mungu atusaidie kabisa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Jambo la pili under there because I want to explain something. Failure and death is your own doing. Failure and death is your own doing. This is a mistake many people have made in the house of God. Many characters, many wonderful children of God have dug their own grave simply because they 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 don't understand the scriptures and what the word of God says. And point number two, under failure and death is your own doing. In the Bible, so killed himself because his character was not fully prepared. His character was not fully equipped. His character was wanting according to the Bible. Actually, nobody killed Saul. Nobody killed him. His character, his behavior towards God killed his life. You will not be killed in Jesus' mighty name. Are we together? Those are the things we want to avoid in the body of Jesus Christ. Tunataka tusui ayo mambo kwa sababu huyu mungu ambaye tunamuabudu atatubariki. Iyo minajua. Huyu mungu ambaye tunamutumikia atatupea maisha marefu. Lakini baraka ambaza atatubariki tupea maisha ambaye atatupea lazima tuandaliwe ama tuwe trained ili baraka sikikuja tusijifune tusijifune let's turn to first samuel chapter 31 nataka iweke kwa screen first samuel chapter 31 verse number 1 verse number 2 to verse number 6 tunaenda step by step hatuna haraka kwa sababu gani tumefika mahali wapendwa tunaangalia wale ambao ni watakatifu wale ambao wameokoka wale ambao Mungu ameonekania akatupea kazi nzuri akatupea biashara nzuri akatupea mamlaka mahali fulani badala ya sisi kuangalia na tumtasame Mungu na tumwambie Mungu hakika wewe ndio umetuleta hapa wewe ndio umetu bariki lakini baada yake tunampea mgongo na unajua Mungu Biblia inasema God cannot be mocked Bwana asiweza God cannot be mocked no unajua hivi sasa kuna mhubiri mmoja aliniangalia akaniambia he mchungaji hata wewe mpaka saa hii unaenda kurusid mimi ningekuwa nimefika mahali umefika ningekuwa nimetulia hiyo ni roho ambayo haina akili kwa sababu gani Mungu ni Mungu ambaye anataka kila mtu anyenyekee I will to get the children of God. Listen, First Samuel chapter 31. Nataka tuingie wote hapo tu. Kama uko kwa Biblia, isome. This man killed himself. Nobody killed him. Sikiza vile Biblia inasema. Now the Philistines fought against Israel. 
Remember God stands with the Israelites. He defends them. He fights on their behalf. These are covenanted children before God. How ni watoto ambao wako na agano. Inchi ambayo iko na agano. Mungu anaipigania, Mungu anaiwezesha na Mungu anaipea hekima. Lakini hapa Biblia inasema now the Philistines fought against the Israel. The Israelites fled before them. And many fell slain on Mount Gilboa. Now, according to the agenda of God, kulingana na Mungu, wana wa Israeli hawastahili kushindwa. Hawastahili kushindwa. Wewe uko connect, uko connected na wana wa Israeli. Kwa hivyo haustahili ha kushindwa kwa jambo lolote. Kwa hivyo kuanzia leo mpaka mwaka ishe na miaka kumi na miaka misini ichayo hakuna kitu kitasimama na wewe kishinde maisha yako. Haiwezekani kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Haiwezekani. Ni vile tu sisi tumeamua kuchinyonga, tumeamua uh, kwenda chini na hiyo ndiyo kitu tunaka correct, correctify siku ya leo. We must rectify this mistake. That when you are born again and you are a child of God and you are connected to the God who created everything, you are not supposed to be defeated in any area. Amen. Never. Sicknesses are not supposed to defeat you. No. No man is supposed to defeat you. Never in Jesus' mighty name. So if there was a mistake and you realize you made a mistake somewhere and that is why you are going down, I, I declare to you, child of God, believe you me, from today, you will begin to rise. From today, you will take your dominion. From today, you will take care of your territory. From today, failure will not trace you in Jesus' precious name. You will not kill yourself. You will not hand over the dominion and the power that God has given to you. I stand here as a man of God, included in that program, and I declare with the all of confidence in God, I will not fail in any area of my life. This ministry will not go down. This ministry will not die. Can I prophesy in Jesus' name? I want to profess to every single individual seated here. Every step you take, you will not take alone. The God who created you will go with you. And when God goes with you, you will never experience failure in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Can I make a more declaration? This man made a mistake and that is why Israel was defeated. From today, where God has planted you, if it's an area of business, no man will stretch forth his hand and destroy that business. If it is employment, I declare by the grace of the almighty God, anybody who will try to remove you from there, he is choking with the God who planted you there. May you not experience shame in your place of work. In Jesus' mighty name, if you believe, lift up your hands and give Jesus a thunderous shout. This was not their portion. No, there was a reason why they were slain. There was a reason why they fell in the hands of the enemy. What you confess, you become. What you confess becomes part of you. I will not die. Listen, if somebody is waiting for you to die, they will wait forever. You are not going to die soon. You are the one who will allow death to come to your life. So if you are not above 100 years, I cancel death. In Jesus' might name. The next verse. Amen. The Philistines pressed hard. The Philistines pressed hard after Saul and his sons. And they killed his sons, Jonathan, Abinadab, and Malik Shua. They, listen, the Philistines pressed hard after what? The reason why is that come to Yoyota Kosei. Ni kwa sababu kuna watu wengi wameruhusu failure kuingia kwa maisha yao. Sasa kuanzia leo nataka tufunge hiyo kamba. Tunaifunga kabisa niamini tunaifunga kabisa kama kuna kitu kimeingilia teritori yako. Ah niamini leo tunafunga hiyo mlango. Teritori yako will be secure. Teritori yako will be safe. Teritori yako nobody will again interfere. Never. Mungu akamwambia Adam 
and if nimewaweka hapa na nimeweweka kwa hii shamba ya edeni eh na nimeisingira na nikishaisingilia ndani kuna match ndani kuna mimea ndani kuna chakula ndani kuna kila kitu na Mungu ambaye aliumba hao akasema sasa hii territory yenu take care of it work it out hiyo inamaanisha kuna adui listen Adam and you if were aware of the evil that was present with them not that they were not aware lakini though the enemy had fallen na alikuwa ameingia hapa duniani Mungu alikuwa tayari ashaanda kitu ambayo kitalinda territory ya Adam and Eve kwa hivyo Adam and Eve walikuwa na choice ya kuruhusu huyu adui aingie ndani ama wamfungie nje hivi leo kwa jina la Yesu Mungu ambaye anaishi milele kama kuna adui amepenetrate akaingia kwa territory ya family yako akaingia kwa territory ya business yako akaingia kwa territory ya mwili wako huko na nguvu na mamlaka leo ya kumwambia huyu atui aondoke na asirudi tena inua mkono wako namna hii declare my father in the name of jesus i disallow come on i disallow any enemy to interfere with my territory in jesus name hallelujah now skiza the next fast no before the next fast eh kidana yangu siku haraka the philistines did what press the hard after so press the hard <laughs> press the hard Ah. Sasa wakati ni Mkristo ndio maana wapendwa tumerudi tunachifunza. Mimi ambaye nimeokoka wokofu ni nini? Mimi ambaye nimemkubali Yesu ninawezaje kulinda maisha yangu ya wokofu? Kwa sababu hapa makosa sio adui, makosa sio Philistines, makosa sio mtu yoyote, makosa ni so. And we gonna see from the scriptures. Makosa ni yeye. Kwa sababu Mungu mwenyewe ana prepare watu wake. Kwa sababu ya vita ambao viko mbele. When you are not prepared, there is no way you can defeat your enemy. For example, wakati institution yoyote inataka kuandika mtu. Let's say kwa mfano ni marketing, wanatafuta nini? Wanatafuta nini? Mtu ambaye ni expert mwenye amefanya sales and marketing. Uwezi sema unatafuta mtu wa sales. Uende kuleta engineer. Aende kufanya sales. Utaua huyo mtu. Sasa huyu mtu anaitwa so He was not fully prepared. That is why is he preparedness led to his destruction sasa sitakubali mtu yoyote hapa ashindwe mm -mm, mm -mm. i will prepare you for what is ahead of you and you will conquer any battle no matter any. choose what is ema ni jana jana jama moja am america researcher alikuwa na analyze vile Russia imekuwa inashinda vita all through na huyu jamaa akasema Putin anaitwa Putin Putin has never lost any battle sasa mimi nilichukua post free when he was talking like that nilichuweka hapo nikasema Jasper will not lose sio Putin me i don't care Jasper will never lose any battle and then huyu jamaa ka analyze how the man is well equipped akaendelea akasema the the world has not yet seen huyu jamaa can i declare this in jesus name the world has not yet known who you are from today by the grace of god and by the anointing of god as you appear let the world know somebody has appeared here in jesus mighty name and the next verse quickly nani the fighting grew fierce around who around who I don't know how many battles you face on daily basis. Many battles. Many battles. Bwana asubuhi sana. 
the fighting grew fierce. No, I'm coming. So they squeeze you. So you must stand like a shanga because Mimi. Never say what you need. Hey yo, see your massage. Massage is near on a toilet and goes out. Ata yoni massage. Okay. Sasa yangu, yangu na malisi apa. Omenielewa. So this lady amekuwa na ni malisi apa. Lakini kwa hiyo room naona vile mashati imetolea. Imetolewa. So akaniuliza <laughs> Bishop wewe mbona upe? Upendi kunikamwambia ni boundary ni territory. <laughs> ni territory. <laughs> Wana asiwe sana. Wana ume bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Hebu nikuulize kwa nini unaendaka kinyosi sana? Okay. Defy. Wadada bwana asifiwe. Sasa nikachiuliza kama hao wanafanya hivyo mbona mama Jacks asifanye hiyo? Now. The... Bwana asifiwe sana. So we are uh, we are on a training. I don't know many people understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, sawa. So, uh, the fighting grew fears around who? Now, the, the battle is around you. The battle is all about you. It's not a group. It's not a group of people. The, the, the focus is on you. The focus is on me. Around so. And when the Akas overtook him, they wounded him. They wounded him critically. Lakini kuna kitu na explain. The next verse. So said to his armor bearer, draw your sword and run me through. All these uncircumcised fellows will come and run me through and abuse me. But his armor bearer was terrified and could not do it. So Saul took his own sword and fell. So who killed him? Who killed him? He killed himself. Why did he kill himself? He was number listen, several things. Number one, he was not fully trained. Number two, he was not mature. Number three, he was afraid of what, what was supposed to be afraid of him. Listen, any battle that is ahead of you, God has fully prepared us for it in Jesus' name. Now listen, if Saul did not give up in life, he could have not died. He could have not died. So who killed himself? So who killed himself now. Upon me and failure and the death is in your own. So I gonna explain. Let's go to the next file, a page, page number seven. Wow. Every single human being has wounds. Kila mtu wako na nini? Machira. Kila mtu. Mtu wa sikuda nganye. Wewe wako na machira hayako. Hundi sini. Vidonda. Kila mtu wako na vidonda. Vidonda viyako ni tafauti na viyangu. Sasa. Kama ujaandaliwa vizuri. Kama ujakua prepared vizuri. Huwe na spiritual stamina. Huwe umemachua. Wengi wameruhusu vidonda kuwamaliza. Haita kumaliza. So follow me carefully. The next page. After 
tumesoma hiyo we have already read first samuel chapter 31 verse number 1 to verse number 6 uh, let's go to point number 3 so was overrun by the enemy his army crashed and he was badly wounded by arrows he took a sword and he fell on it he took a sword and he fell on it this is so sad tunaishi nyakati wapendwa ambazo kama hatutakuwa tumekomaa kama hatutakuwa tumefika kile kiwango ambayo tunamtegemea Mungu kuna vitu itafanya maisha yetu yawe mafupi hapa duniani lakini Mungu akani akaniruhusu niweze kuweka haya mambo chini ili yaweza kutusaidia no matter the battles no matter the challenges you are going through don't allow the spirit of giving up to destroy your life don't give up fight until you finish the battle mm -hmm. number uh -huh. number 4 indeed the enemy had overpowered him but in the end his death was his own doing his death was his own doing now why you realize that there is uh, there is a lot of suicide a lot of murder a lot of giving up in the body of jesus christ it's because many believers have refused to grow spiritually that is why wala ambao tumekuja tumechelewa before i continue ninataka kwenda through a few things that will make us, uh, us understand the things that i'm talking about kwa hii particular portion indeed the enemy had overpowered him but in the end his death was his own doing now listen kuna watu wengi wamekaa hapa leo kuna vita unapigwa pale kasini kuna vita unapiwa pale kwa estate kuna vita unapiwa pale unapofanyia kazi yako ama biashara yako kuna vita unapigana kati yako na watoto wako kuna vita pia unapigana kati yako na marafiki zako kwa hivyo ni vita kila mahali kuna vita unapigana kwa nyumba yako wewe mwenyewe sasa nisikize kwa makini badala ya kufika mahali kama so wacha turudi ndio maana tuko na ifayo turudi tuelewe wokovu ni nini tutapigana vita namna gani purpose yetu hapa duniani ni gani maono yetu ni gani ndoto zetu ni gani wapendwa tukifika hapo hautaona vita kama kitu naongoja niseme hivi pila kumaliza mkristo yoyote ambaye apitii vita hautajua nguvu ambayo umebeba ndarudia tena mkristo yoyote ambaye ameokoka na upiti vita vyo bas hautachua nguvu ambayo umebeba now when god had created adam and eve and he placed them in the garden of eden before god did that what did god do he empowered them he gave them dominion he gave them power to rule and he gave them what would preserve their lives and their future but but they ignored all those things and the enemy was able to succeed them the enemy will not succeed over your life there are very many believers who have killed their future by ignoring simple instructions from the word of god very simple instructions from the word of god very simple instructions kitu ambayo imenisaidia katika maisha yangu ya wokofu na ninashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ya foundation ambayo my spiritual father aliweka ndani yangu kwa sababu alituweka kwa neno akatufunza hilo neno mpaka saa hilo neno limenisaidia wapendwa the word of god will prevail against your circumstances the word of god will deliver victory to every area of your life amen uh, let, let me read point number 6 no tuko point, point number 5 it was a, a tragic and a sad end 
that serves as an example to all the believers. To all the believers. And then I make a declaration, we will not end like so. Everybody say amen. amen. We will not end like who? No. None of us will end like that. Never. We must take heed, lest our success be our undoing. Our undoing. I'm doing everything possible to make sure that every single believer, every single child of God is equipped to stand against the tough times that are ahead of us. Quickly, uh, because of time, I want us to go uh, back to the foundation that I laid in the morning. Amen. So quickly, I will mention though in the next 10 minutes, Jesus was never interested in having a big following. He was not. Kwa nini Yesu mwenyewe hakuwa na usika na kuwa na following ya watu wengi ni kwa sababu gani wakati multitudes walikuja na Yesu ambaye anachua kila kitu akaona ya kuwa hawa watu ambao wamekuja wengi sitaweza kuweka nini yangu ndani yao kwa hivyo akadefide akasema nitaanza na 12 nitaanza na, na nitaenda kwa sabini na hawa wote wakichumulishwa wakiwa na proper training they will do exploits I stand here today by the grace of God and I want to declare as the Lord spoke to me that we are not going to raise a crowd here. We are not raising multitudes here. We are raising disciples, well-trained soldiers who will handle any battle ahead of them in Jesus' mighty name. How many people are ready for that? Amen. Let's move. Number two, Jesus was interested in disciples who understand, who understood how to deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow him. That is where the interest was. I'm going to raise people, men and women who will understand how to deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. Not the men and women who will go for comfortable life. Unajua kanisan to mefika mahali. We are interested on comforts. Interested on comforts. Hey, buwana suwe sana. Eh, 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 ah. Unajua nilicharibu, nikaona kweli. Tukieleka hivi ya kuna mahali tunapeleka kanisa. Sande hile ya kwanza tulisema tutakuwa na maombi na chai. Hey! Kiraudi walikuja, asubui. Sak, before sa kumi na nambili, apa watu wa rama kashaka, rekete, kuna tea and bread. Oh, hallelujah. The hallelujah was not hallelujah. The hallelujah was energized by what they would get after. Iyo Sunday walikuja kidogo, walipoona hakuna mukate. Samoja tuko hapa, unaangalia wawili wanakuja. <laughs> Kila mtu inuwa mkono na mna hii. Inuwa mkono na mna hii. Sema my father in heaven. Sema kutoka kwa roo. My father in heaven. I will not be controlled by my stomach. Are you sure? <laughs> Comfort in a ribu church. Comfort in a fire nini? Yes, wakajua, kasema, hawa jama wengine wamekuja hawa ni multitudes. Hawa wamekuja kwa sababu kuna mkate. Hawa wamekuja kwa sababu kuna hii. Kwa hitha, kasema now, I am going to make a very powerful personal statement. Let's turn to Luke chapter 9, verse number 23. Then we we'll stop there. Luke chapter 9, verse number 23. Uh -huh. Then he said to them, oh, he said to them, oh, aliwambia wote. Kawambia, if anyone could come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross. When? Daily. And do what? And follow me. Daily. Lazima wapepe musalaba wao na wafanya nini wanifuate. Nataka niseme chambo kapla sitaenda mbali. 
nyinyi ambao wote mmekaa hapa Mungu awabariki wa na Mungu awatendee wa kwa sababu hakuna bus lakini uko hapa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo hiyo chua yenye inakupiga hiyo mahali unatembea kutoka manyato unafika hapa isiende bure Mungu aiangalie na aibariki kwa jina la nani kwa jina la Yesu is a sacrifice now many people many people actually a bigger percentage of believers miss their miracles because of not having the foundation of sacrifice in their lives no sacrifice no commitment so when god is checking much special jesus christ he does not find any sacrifice he knew the strength of the church laid in the willingness of his followers to lay down their lives for the gospel to marisie luke chapter 14 verse number 25 to verse number 31 we will stop there so kwa hizi notes tumeachia Apo 7 Tunaelewana weka koma apo eh, We will pick up from there Bwana asifuwe sana Hii e, e, ni tamu sana Tangu jana nimekuwa naenda through Na nina, nasoma na, na muambia mungu Sita kubali Sita kubali Kile kilimalisa so Hakita ni maliza Kile kilimalisa so Hakita maliza Washirika wa kanisa hii Kile kilimalisa so Hakita maliza watoto wetu Na itakuwa hivu Kwa china la Yesu Christo So let's turn to uh, Luke chapter 14 verse number 25 Very powerful Hapa sasa Yesu separate multitudes and the disciples, multitudes. Unajua, multitude, kukiwa na shida wanakuwacha ewani kwa mata. Lakini disciples, sons and daughters, they will not leave you. They will stand with you whether you have or you don't have. They will cry with you whether, whether all But sons and daughters, they will be with you. Because they are not multitudes. They are sons and daughters. That is exactly what happened with Jesus. So, hapa, ana separate, ana sema, large crowds were traveling with Jesus. Large. And turning to them, he said, listen, unajua multitudes, multitudes, ukaga wakio wambie, hey, hii munafanya ni mbaya. Kama we ni, ni wa multitude. Na unajua umi na androngo watu vizuri sana. Si munajua hivyo? Mimi ni mtu mzuri. Hii tunia. Hakuna mtu kama mimi. Hamu aferi. <laughs> Kijana yangu. So. Hama aje kija. <laughs> Alazio sana. Sasa vile na androngo watu vizuri. <laughs> Situ ni nani yule. Unajua uyu kijana yangu amenilewa. Hakiweka rangi. Ala nipigia na niyambi. I don't know whether it is good or not bad. Because the truth is, mimi suwe sikuja ni pretend, kama rangi ni mbaya, nita kuambia kijana yangu, iyo ni, tena hata semi kijana yangu, nasema nga iyo ni mbaya. Sasa kama you are not a son, sita kuona the next Sunday. Kweri ya marongo, lakini wala wamenielewa kama vijana yangu, na wanajua. Siku ingine ni mechemuka, siku ni obunga ni liwachemukia. Siku jua ni mechemuka, lakini ni kingia kwa gali, nasema hao ni vijana yangu. Huwa ni na... Tanya, normally, I'm a very good man. Now, Yesu anaingia ata kwekalu, anasema you fibers, you, what are you doing here? And I turn the tapes upside down. Why? He was raising disciples, not multitudes. May the church be a church of disciples. Great people, powerful people, men with authority and power. Where you appear, people recognize you. That is what is going to happen in Jesus' mighty name. If you believe it, lift up your hand and say yes. Amen. Angalia vile yesu wana separate and say large crowds. Amen. I'm a good man. Verse number 25. Large crowds were traveling with who? And turning to them, he said, Aliyaweka tu, our crowd, Aliwageukia, akasema nini? 
if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, his wife and the children, his brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Now, unajua usienda kugeuka, waanza kutukia papa yako, unajua kuna mwengira alisema, pipili alisema, explanation ya scripture ndiyo maana nataka tukomae unanielewa don't usi usingise scripture anza kuchukia dada zako kitu anasema don't lift people more than me i must become number one in your life bwana aswe sana the next verse and anyone who does not carry is unajua Uyu Unajua watoto wangu wakikua Walikuwa naita muka wangu Ani Watoto wate sindio Watoto wate Sasa unajua misa hii muita China Rose Unasikiate ni kikuita Rose Yani Sasa Uyu Uyu ni muka wangu Ni wangabu wanajua uyu ni muka wangu Sasa uyu ni muka wangu Lakini Si West Pepper musalaba yake Na ye ya West Pepper yangu Yesu alisema hii ni ya kila mtu. Hii ni ya kila mtu. Kwa hivyo wewe kuja useme hapa jumla hii kanisa. Wewe beba msalaba yako. Beba nini? Msalaba yako. Msalaba yako. Usipepe msalaba ya kanisa. Wewe huko kufia kanisa. <laughs> kila mtu unabeba dajira asi wewe na msalaba. Na ya na yangu ni ya. Si eti hii kanisa tuna. Ah uh ah. -uh. Kila mtu msalaba yake. Kila mtu msalaba ya nani? Yesu wakajua tunaeza enda kwa grupu. Anasema, eh, hey, hiyo kanisa. Aa, ni msalaba ya kila mtu. Watoto wangu na msalaba yao. Nina wapenda. Muke wangu na msalaba yake. Unanisikia? Na mimi msalaba ya. And anyone who does not carry his cross and follow me cannot be cannot be my disciple. So don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Everybody must carry his or her own cross. Musalaba wake. The next verse. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Will he not first sit down and estimate the cost to see if he has enough money to complete? Yani unakaa chini kama unataka kutenga nyumba. Unapige sabu. Hii nyumba ita kosti pesa ngapi hii nyumba ndiyo ni malise ni naitachi mafundi wangapi nisikize kwa makini maana ya hii kila mtu unakaa chini unapige sabi ya wakofu unanielewa e sabi ya wakofu hata wala mbao mwema wakoka kwa kurusedi unapepa musalaba yako wewe mwe mwenyewe sasa ebu ni kuulize ni nani umewe jenga nyumba hata kama ni simba ile ya nyumbani kuna nyumba siya ipomua nyumbani na zitaki ipomulewa iyo ndiyo tuliansia siyo iyo tuliansia ya nyasi siyo usikiasa na nyumba ya kwanza nilikupeleke likuwa uyo dada alinisumbua yani na usi ni chese usi waiku ni chese yani uyu Nini mpeleka chikoni? Chikoni ndiyo tuliansia. Chinioni, onajua, ye ya nilelewa mayai, haku nilelewa iyo nini. So, nime mpeleka nyumani, tumelala chikoni, ye lakini maisha. Sasa, onajua mimi nimesoe ya panya, ninajua, anything can happen, nilikuwa nimesoe ya tanyoke na esa ingia kwa nyumba, na ninaishugulikia. Lakini ye, sasa nika, na minajua, panya hata yenye hiko na mimba, minajua. So, nime peleka yeye nyumbani, tukalala chikoni yeye ya mteni hiyo na moshi, we waja sasa usiniaribia china sana sasa sikisa sikisa wapendwa sasa ingine ni vizuru sasa usiku ninekajua yu musichana ya wenye wa hawe sirala su panye nakuja na unajua sinakuja ni kama paka yani they are a speak moje nakuja moje nakuja niko nataa na yangalia na ina niangalia ina niangalia musichana ya wenye wa nesikia pia 
sasa unajua you can mistake somebody kama Angel sio unajua kitu ina imagine vile napigana hivi anaweza sema vile watu wanasema wakisini wachawi anaweza fikiri anaweza fikiri ni uchawi vile afanya bwana sio nikamwamsha nikamwambia please know that kuna panya hapa sasa ninalinde siku kule so ano watu unakuja kunichezea hapa. Yaani tunatoka mbali. Mm. I love mattress. Chichi yes. <laughs> mocha. <laughs> Sasa na kitanda ni ile nilipiga samani ile you know that was the best bed. Ni kwa Na miti yenyewe miti. Ulikuwa yani that was a show for you. That <laughs> na sweat hapa wapendwa na mkiona na, na upini na passion hii ah nimetoka mbali nimetoka mbali nilifungiwa nyumba kwa yango <laughs> na kuja napata kifuri mama amesimama na mwambie ni asimama kwa nini ananiambia jumbe mefuga naleta nyundo acha waizo ya na mwambie hiyo kifuri na mwambie ya njia kwa nyumba <laughs> kiria nilifufuka namna hiyo nimeishi kwa yango suppose one of you wants to build a tower will he, will he not first sit down simama juu the way will not finish stand <laughs> are you people you don't want to go home akawapea mfalume huyu mfalume aliyewapea hakukuwa ameandaliwa bwana asiwe sana hakuwa ameenda process yoyote ya kuwa trained empowered like tunakuja kuona david kwa hivyo alipoingia uongozini aliingia bila kujua vile atakavyo handle himself so kwa conclusion ya live yake haikukua hakukonclude vizuri kwa hivyo maombi yangu na desire ya mungu ni kila mtu ambaye amesema ndio kwa Yesu hawe prepared hawe trained hili unapo conclude maisha yako hauta conclude vile soul alifanya in Jesus mighty name